All right, good morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are, whenever you are. This is Let's Play Fable The Lost Chapters. And I am easily distracted. Uh, it's kind of a nice opening cinematic here for opening credits, but it's probably a little long. My name is Emmy Lou. I will hopefully be playing this game at some point once this gets through. This, like I said, this is Lost Chapters of the, the original Fable game. Um, listen to the nice swell of music, people. This is what you're in for. belt buckle. See, I have played this game before. I uh, finished it once, but that was way back when it first came out. Uh, I think four or five, six years ago now. I actually have no idea when it came out, but point is, I remember absolutely nothing about the main plot except for the name of the main bad guy. So we'll all be in for some surprises here. Again, if you don't know the main plot, where have you been these last five years? This has been out. Why haven't you been playing this game? opening cinematic. Give them one thing though, at least the music is really nice. to kind of give you a preview of what you're in for here. Uh, a lot of these will be locations that we will be visiting uh, at certain points throughout the game. Alrighty, here we go. See? Fable. The Lost Chapters. Ah, 2005, so six years from the point of this video. Alright, so as you can see, I have basically just um, tested out the first chapter or so, just to make sure that it works on this computer. I'm working on a, well, laptop right now because my uh, normal PC perhaps doesn't work on it. Um, Let's see, yep. Looks good. And then, new game. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, wait. I'm going to want to change the audio, I think. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight 
or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. Okay, who dreams that? But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. All right, sorry, I'll make it a habit, or I won't make it a habit to talk during cutscenes. I'm a very story-oriented story player, um, and I hate it when people talk uh, during cutscenes through Let's Plays, too. So I won't usually do that, but really, who dreams of being a villain? It's, you, you know, when you're little, you dream of being Batman, not the Joker, you, you know what? Sure, Skeletor's cool, but only really the coolest part of him is that He-Man can beat his butt. Here, yeah, we're gonna take these down two ticks. Um, let's make sure you guys can hear me a little bit better. Oh, well, yeah. We'll go with that for now. And see how it works. Okay, so this here, um, there are basically two kinds of saves in this game. The hero save, which just saves your hero stats, and the world save, which is a standard save point. Uh, and hero saves are basically what you get during quests. Uh, basically, you get no checkpoints during most of your quests. Um, and so, yeah, the, the first surprise of the game is that the first very long uh, leg of the game is all one quest. You get uh, no world saves during that time, so if you're about to start this game, you better uh, you better have some time to play it. Just sit down and just marathon it. <laughs> this is a, okay, not gonna lie, this is probably one of the best parts of the game is chicken kicking. I love animals, but <laughs> look at him go. Well, <laughs> this run little thing. <laughs> Anyway, so we need to get our sister a present. What are you thinking? Should we be good or bad? I've lost Rosie. I left her and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Okay. One thing I was doing seeing during that cutscene, this is the easily distracted part. Look at him. Doesn't he look kind of weird? Like, his, something about his eyes just kind of freaks me out. Oh well. That's our hero, everyone. Not exactly lovely. Is your sister having a party for a birthday? Hey, look at the townspeople. So. Oh, yeah, my little pumpkin. Oh, <laughs> you're so naughty. So bad, you. Is that a moon? I can't stop thinking normal? about you. <laughs> no, you just. I think there's something fishy going on here. What's this? I love you more than any of the other. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. Dude! But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Um, huh. <laughs> No, I don't think just so. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Okay, and so just to be contrary, You're the most we're going to run out and tell his wife. If 
Actually, I have no idea where his wife is. Uh, see, there's a little blinking yellow dot on our map. Um, that means that that's where our quest reward is. Just but like that's actually where the dad is. Still. Oh, hello. Honestly, where's that good-for-nothing husband of mine? Sounds like we found the wife. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. Dude, he does this a I lot. His house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Yeah, let's tattle. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Oh, yay, good deed. Wait till I get uh, Hello, up. lad. Say happy birthday to your sister for me, won't you? I gotta see this. Aw. Oh, she is. Yo, filthy swine! No, I ought to run. chop them right off! Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you! Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you, why don't... Yeah. His mother will be pleased with his behavior. <laughs> I gotta say, there's something very karmic about watching the cheating husband get torn apart by his wife. So anyway, you are, um, you're a good fellow. Oh, you're green. You can help me. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I don't have three gold <laughs> coins. Maybe so later, no. <laughs> but howie, before I eat them myself, remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Trader everyone and his gravity defying mustache. Look at that thing. Alright, 